from what I've heard, it's proving incredibly popular. And I think people realize that it's a, uh, if you're going to have a second citizenship, why not have it in a fantastic place like St. Kitts and Nevis? Hello, I'm Ben Rizzo with MSR Media here in beautiful St. Kitts and Nevis. And welcome to the premiere episode of MSR Media's Red Carpet Chat. I'm joined today by our Vice President of International Development, Don Lockman. Hello, Ben. It's a real pleasure to be with you here today. Great to have you, Don. And we are so happy to have with us the amazing and talented Elizabeth Hurley. Elizabeth, how are you? Uh, good. Thank you very much, Ben. And hi, Don. Hello, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I had the great pleasure of being with you here in Nevis when you were shooting the film Strictly Confidential directed by your son Damien, and one in which you not only starred, but also produced. So how was it to make this film in St. Kitts and Nevis, which I believe was your third film here with MSR Media? And what can you tell us about the film? It, it was indeed my third film with MSR Media in St. Kitts and Nevis. And each, each movie has been a very different experience. You know, when you first arrive to such an exotic location. Um, the first movie I did there, Christmas in the Caribbean, which I think that's the poster right behind you, Ben. Um, you know, it was just so exciting to be filming in such an amazing place. The world was just still in COVID turmoil and suddenly arriving in this, you know, such an exquisite location was, was pretty amazing. And that's when I got to meet the MSR St. Kitts crew for the first time, and really got to start to understand the way of filming there and all the, you know, amazing things that come with that and all the challenges that always, you know, come when a film company first go to a new location. So the second movie I did, I could see that so much progress had been made. So many of the new crew members had gained experience and I wasn't a newbie either going to that location. So that was another really great experience for me. And then coming back in as a producer actor to Strictly Confidential was, you know, yet another experience in itself. Um, all movies are very different and all movies have different challenges and different pleasures. This was, you know, a wonderful movie for me to do because it was my son's first movie as writer director. So that was both fabulous and frightening at the same time. There's a lot of pressure on his shoulders and therefore mine as well. And, I really feel he rose to the challenge and I think we've made a beautiful movie. We shot that one mostly in Nevis. You know, Nevis is really a character in that film and the island looks spectacular. And I think what's very interesting is that we managed to film the island looking in a very different way to the way it had in the previous two movies I'd made. Um, of course, it's the same sun, sand and sea, but with the cinematographer, you can really make things look very different. And I think we showed different parts of the island. We shot in a house that had been used before, but we hung different pictures on the walls. We imported a lot of plants. We moved around all the furniture and the owners weren't looking. And again, we made it look incredibly different. And that's part of the challenge of shooting on a, on a small island where locations are fantastic but limited. You use what you've got and... You know, you really have to dig deep into the crew to make all those locations work for you and to make them special. I really think we achieved that with Strictly Confidential. I'm very excited for people to see it. I would agree. I was lucky to screen the film myself, and it is fantastic. So I have to ask you, how was it to be directed by your son, Damien? <laughs> well, my son's been directing me in movies since he was about nine or ten. He famously has sort of corralled all friends and family to being in his baby films, which he'd write and normally shoot when we're on vacation. So whilst the grown-ups were always secretly hoping to lie on their lounger with a book, actually we had to learn our lines and act a lot. And we've got all those movies and they're extraordinary to watch. So actually it, I was used to being directed by him. Now, obviously the stakes have never been so high before, but as far as working together, actually, it worked incredibly well. We had a shorthand because, you know, he wrote the script, but I was his script editor sometimes, along with Philippe Martinez, who also was giving notes and giving ideas. 
which were great. So it was a collaborative, you know, by the time you actually get there, you have a lot of input. Luckily, Damon had already scouted the locations when he'd stayed with me when I was shooting both Christmas in the Caribbean and Christmas in Paradise. So he was able to write this script around the locations that he knew already existed. And I think that really helped a first time screenwriter a lot. So you're not writing things that can't be shot. And I think he really knew the locations he was going to use, the buildings he was going to use, the interiors, the exteriors. He knew that the airport is absolutely charming on Nevis. So he knew he wanted to have a rival. He topped and tailed the movie with the airport. Also, because um, another challenge that some people don't know, that when you're working in somewhere as beautiful as Nevis and St. Kitts, nevertheless, you're fighting the sun all the time because to be on vacation with a big, bright sun is fantastic. To shoot is very, very difficult. So that has its own challenges. So luckily, again, because he'd been there, he was able to schedule all his shooting around the times when the sun was magical and not hideous. I think having been there before really, really helped. I agree. And we are so excited about the release of the film. Elizabeth, it's just an absolute pleasure to be able to sit here and chat with you today. And I have to say, I'm a really big fan. Thank you. That's very kind of you. As you know, MSR Media has built and established the film industry in St. Kitts and Nevis. And we've trained so many people here into that industry. And, you know, you've been working with these young folks and sharing your experiences with them and really being an integral part of that training process. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, I think it was great. And I think being fortunate enough to have made three movies there means that I've really been part of watching how some of these young people have progressed from being complete beginners and never having stepped foot on a film set before to being incredibly valuable crew members. And we saw that in some really key departments, the camera and sound, which, you know, probably are arguably, everybody would disagree with me from each head of department, but, you know, to us, to see people rise up the ranks in those particular departments was really a wonderful thing to see. And they've become very integral to the filmmaking process out in St. Kitts and Nevis. And it's been, it's been really great to see. Um, the transport department also is a fantastic department that um, MSR have built up over in um, St. Kitts and Nevis. They're people who not only do they help move the equipment, but more than that, they're always taking cast members to their homes, to the sets. They're very, very important. They're the first people that the cast see in the morning and the last people they see at night. There's really fantastic guys working in that department. And little things like that actors really notice and are really grateful for. You know, it really is rewarding to see all these young folks being trained up in new careers. Elizabeth, so piggybacking off of your previous comments, can I ask you what you like most about St. Kitts and Nevis? And if you feel a very creative spirit while you're making films here. I think one of the most wonderful things about um, working with brand new crew members in a um, business that they haven't necessarily been in for very long is that it's still very exciting for them. And their excitement wears off on, not that I'd say any of us were jaded, but when you've been around and made an awful lot of movies and television over the years, it is quite wonderful when you meet very, very eager people who want to learn, who love the industry and are looking for great experiences and looking to learn new skills. So I think actually it's, um, it's very refreshing and I, I feel that everybody found that. As I know you're aware, MSR Media is an official public benefactor, meaning people can get their second citizenship here in St. Kitts and Nevis through the MSR public benefit option, which is not only an incredible opportunity for them, but it's an, also a huge opportunity for St. Kitts and Nevis and building even a bigger film industry, which is just gonna bring a wealth of opportunities here, not only for the country, but for those folks that become citizens as well. Having seen this firsthand, having been here, I'd like to know your take on that. Well, I mean, I think it. I think it's it's wonderful. I mean, I only listened in to some very early talks about the citizenship program, so it's not something that I know a great deal about. But from what I've heard, 
it's proving incredibly popular. And I think people realize that it's a, if you're going to have a second citizenship, why not have it in a fantastic place like St. Kitts and Nevis, which, you know, it, it gives so much back. It's a delightful place to have a vacation. And I think sometimes for people in the public eye, they really appreciate going to somewhere that's quiet and has a certain serenity about it, isn't full of fast food and sort of rather annoying holiday makers. There are people that have their homes there, both people that are from the island and some people that have come in. The mix is wonderful. It feels very safe there. And it just feels like a really great place to have a second home and to have a citizenship, I guess. So I think after having produced 10 films thus far here in St. Kitts and Nevis and creating so many highly qualified jobs in the process, I'm sure you'd agree that MSR Media has made a significant contribution to the country and to its people. Now, as a public benefactor of the Citizenship by Public Benefit option, we welcome the opportunity to continue to promote this beautiful Twin Island Federation, and we sure hope that you will once again come to star and produce another film here in the very near future. Well, I mean, that would just be wonderful. It would be a dream, because it is one of my favorite places to film. I love it. I just want to thank you so much for chatting with us today. And for all you folks listening out there, you need to call us and learn about being a second citizen in St. Kitts and Nevis and through the MSR Public Benefit Option Program. There's a lot of benefits, many to go over, and we invite you to contact us and learn about how it can work for you. Elizabeth, before I let you go, from one Gemini to another, I must wish you a happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much. What date was yours? Mine's June 11th. Oh, sweet. My father, my late father, was June 8th. So it's a very special all, time. All of and the of best course, people Philippe, are in early June. Right there with us as well. Well, Elizabeth, it was so good to see you once again. And thank you so much for your time. We cannot wait to have you back here for another film. And because you mean so much to us, and to thank you for your creativity and for all you've done to promote these beautiful films shot here in St. Kitts and Nevis, I'm sending you your very own MSR red carpet VIP card as soon as we wrap up today. We can't wait for the release of the new film, Strictly Confidential. Cool. Looking forward to seeing you all next time on MSR Media's Red Carpet Chat.